the International Space Station flying over the Super Typhoon up there in the Westpac earlier this morning. It took the International Space Station four minutes to fly from one side of the Typhoon to the other side. This is currently available on the Force 13's main channel and was broadcasted live during our rolling coverage on the Hurricane of Florence Mag Hut and that stream is continuously until early tomorrow morning. Welcome to another update on the Australian uh, weather scene via the Force 13. We have a very active uh, period. We've got a marine warning up there in the Northern Territory, Western Australia, fire weather warning, West Kimberley Coast. And a severe weather warning for damaging winds remains in place. Central East Gibson, Southwest North Country, North Central, North East, West and South Gippsland, Wimmera and parts of the Mallee forecast districts. Gusty showers and thunderstorms across Victoria, squalling westerly winds averaging 40 to 60 kilometres an hour with peak gusts of 90 to 100 kilometres an hour possible for the remainder of Saturday mainly associated with shower and thunderstorm activity. The BUA down in Melbourne has cancelled their thunderstorm warnings and this is the severe weather warning area. A gale warning is in place, Port Phillip Bay, Western Port, Gippsland Lakes, West Coast, Central Coast, Central Gippsland Coast and East Gippsland Coast. And as mentioned, the Bureau in Victoria has cancelled their thunderstorm warning for the central north country, north central. Severe weather warning for damaging winds and a metropolitan Mount Lofty ranges, Kangaroo Island, Murray Lands, Upper South East, Lower South East, parts of the Big North Districts. Damaging winds associated with a vigorous southwesterly airstream, squally showers, thunderstorms, cold vigorous southwesterly airstream with squally showers, small hail, isolated thunderstorms affecting the south of the state. Potentially damaging winds averaging 50 to 65 kilometres an hour about coastal areas, high ground on the ranges within the warning area. Damaging wind gusts generally in the range 90 to 100 kilometres an hour possible. Locations which may be affected Adelaide, Mount Gambia, Murray Bridge, Kings Cove, Border Town, Lamaru. There's also a gale warning for the lower southeast coast, strong wind warning lower west, central coast, south central, Spencer Gulf, Gulf St Vincent, Investigated Strait, upper southeast coast. There's the area under the warning.
There's also a sheep grazing as morning for the Mount Lofty Ranges, York Village, and Kangaroo Island, and the Flinders, Mid North, Upper East, South East, Lower South East, North East Pastoral District. Now we have a look at the wind probability. It's available on the BSCH website. It's a GFS model. This is from 1 p.m. through to uh, tomorrow afternoon. However, we have down in Tasmania initial flood watch for the Huon and Duran catchments. We have a road weather alert for the rest of the central plano regions of Tasmania. We also have a bush walkers weather alert for the same area. Severe weather warning for damaging winds, King Island and the Thelen X Islands, Western, North East, East Coast, Northwest Coast, Central, North Central Plano, Midlands, part of the Upper Durham Valley, South East Forecast District. Damaging winds possible for much of Tasmania this afternoon. Developing low pressure system is expected across Tasmania tonight, bringing strong and gusty winds about the north and northwest of the state. We also have a storm force wind warning for the central west coast. This is the uh, warning area. We have a gale warning for the Durant Estuary. Frederick, Henry, Norfolk Bay, Storm Bay, Channel Far North West Coast, the Central North Coast, Bank Strait, Franklin Sound, east of the Flinders Island, and Upper East, Lower East, South East, South West Coast. And we have a severe weather warning for the Illawarra South Coast Snowy Mountains. That's the uh, area under the warning. A strong cold front is crossing New South Wales today, bringing rest windy conditions across the state. The strongest winds are expected about parts of the southeast of New South Wales for areas above 1900 metres. Now we have a look at storm probability. Locations which may be affected. Fred Bay, Wollongong, Nowa, Bower, Bakemans Bay, Bega, Marua, Heads, Goldburn, Coomera, Bombana, Merwimbuda, and Eden. Now we have a look at the uh, Bureau's 12 hourly rainfall, followed by the total forecast of rain, and it's caught by it eyes uh, the coral sea region and again the west coast of Tasmania You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, with you at any time. You can also find our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribed hopefully. And you can also follow our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text. Videos are now there as well. And you can follow us on Twitter, at Force 13 is our handle. And it's hashtag F13 Sulik if you'd like to draw our attention to anything in future live events or whatnot. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron with its various rewards that come with that feature as well. And you can add me personally, Fool13 at extension 9094 on Discord and Force13 on Skype for tropical weather chat.